Welcome to Daza Geek. Look, when I did a video on the Magewell USB capture device, which is used at Southeast Linux Fest and is beloved by a lot of people in Linux because it's driverless, it just works, it's a workhorse. People said, yeah, great, thanks for letting me know. Next time I have $299 laying around, I'll pick one up. Fair enough. So I'm here to bring you the cheapest USB capture device that I could find. Now, what are USB capture devices used for? They're used to capture things like PlayStation 4. If you wanted to capture a video of you playing on the PlayStation 4 from your computer and stream it to Twitch or your Nintendo you know, device that you have. Of course, you're going to get flagged by Nintendo, so good luck for that because they don't like anything they do streamed. You know, PS3, Xboxes, those type of things. But they can also be used for DSLR cameras, for instance, if you want to use them as a webcam or a video camera you want to use as a webcam. There are a lot of different uses for these devices. So $299 is a tough pill to swallow, especially since there are devices out there like Elgato and things that you can get for just Windows platform really is where, where they primarily work. And they, you know, range between $100 to $300, depending on the quality. But that's a lot easier pill to swallow than the Magewell by itself. So while I still think the Magewell is the best option, if you are doing something on a, or trying to do something on a professional level, or for instance, the Blackmagic Intensity Pro, which I've also featured on this channel, but it's also a little pricey and a little bit more difficult to get working with the drivers, although they support Linux, it can be a little bit of a pain. This little device right here is the answer that you've been looking for. This cost me $68. It is an RIIAI USB 3.0 full HD video capture device. Now, I do not how to know how to pronounce that. Ria IE. I have been using this for over a month because anytime you're dealing with a device that you can't find a manufacturing website for, number one, uh, and number two is as inexpensive as this compared to competitors, I think it needs to go through the gauntlet of tests. So I have connected video cameras to this. I've connected PlayStation consoles to this. I have connected every device that I could find to connect to this thing and let it run and run and run trying to get it to stop. And the good news is it works really, really well. So the bad news is I can't even find a manufacturer site. So I'm literally on the eBay page that I bought the device from because that's where most of the information is. You see that this capture device can capture any set top boxes, Blu-rays, DVDs. Those are some of the other things that I connected to this. It works fine every time, no issue. A lot of these no name or not well-known named devices like this will work intermittently or have issues where uh, the screen will blank out and those type of things. This did not have that, not once at all. Uh, immediately recognized in OBS, which is what I utilized to capture the data from it and immediately could capture any of the devices connected to it. No software, no drivers to install. You also get some adapters here, for instance, connect this to your phone and things, which I also did. I connected a phone to this device to see if it would capture both my iPhone and my Android screen, which it did uh, once you, of course, have the appropriate adapters for it to connect to the HDMI in, in slot here, because basically there are two connectors to this. This cable here, which is USB 3.0 cable, one end connects here, one end goes into your computer, the other end is the HDMI. Now, if you're wanting to stream something like a game, you're probably going to want to get an HDMI splitter. This is the one that I have, works very, very well with Linux. It is a View HD, VHD 1X2 MN3D. Again, you can go to www.u9ltd.com to check out this exact one. But basically, this takes one HDMI signal, splits it out to two. So you could have one of them, one of your screens, basically your OBS and recording, and the other one being your game there. So that is an option that you can do as well. I'm going to show you some of the video that I've shot and captured with this device. It does the audio as long as you're sending the audio through HDMI. So you'd be able to capture that as well brilliantly. So this can record up to 4K. So it captures the 4K, but your output is always gonna be 1080p max. So 1920 by 1080, 60 frames per second, which it captures without an issue. 
It can obviously support a ton of different formats here and a ton of different devices. It's very easy to use, very easy to set up. So now what I'm gonna do is show you some of these videos and you can see just how well this little $70 device does. This is a perfect entry level device. It even mentions in the description here that it works on Linux, uh, Ubuntu 14.04, and doesn't say or above like it does for OS X here. It should, but obviously uh, I'm running this in Arch. I've run it in Fedora and Ubuntu Mate 18.10, so you're not gonna have any issues in Linux, and I don't suspect you'd have any issues in Windows or Mac either utilizing this, and a great way to kick off if you're wanting to stream live on Twitch or anything along those lines. So let's get to the video and let me know what you think in the comments below. Did I do well? I found you guys a very inexpensive solution here. That's what you asked for that works on Linux, that works well, that's stable. I also checked the temperature on this because that's one of the things that happen with these devices. They can get really, really hot, some of the knockoff ones. Uh, after running this for three days being connected, three days, the highest temperature it got to was 90 degrees. So that is perfectly within the realms of acceptable temperature, not hot to the touch, just simply warm and work perfectly fine. So there you go. Let's check it out. All right, so here is a video I'm playing back of a capture I did of the PlayStation 3. And what you can see here is, you know, PlayStation 3 isn't perfect graphics, but you can see it's capturing it at the uh, perfect resolution. I had to do no settings within the PlayStation 3 to set it up. Literally just plugged it into the device, went into OBS, and chose a video capture device. And it's listed as a USB capture device and so as soon as I selected that it started capturing the video from it and we were good to go and you can see how well I can play that game there here you can see I'm playing another game on the PlayStation 3 and capturing it uh, I think this is one of those older scary games or something I had laying around I don't remember what game this is if you know it leave it in the comments below but you can see my uh, face there you get two of me one with glasses and one without which do you prefer? But you can see it captures the video just fine. No stuttering, no hesitation, no flickering on the screen. Just absolutely perfect resolution there. Now here is some video of me capturing my phone. I'm playing a game on my phone and I'm capturing that footage here. This is on the iPhone uh, that I'm playing this game and you can see it captures it perfectly fine. So if you're somebody who wants to capture video or presentations or things from your phone, this device could be used for that as well. You could see this was going to be a super exciting video with me staring down at my phone doing nothing. So you could look forward to that if you wanted to. Maybe I'll post that on my Patreon link and you could watch the whole video of me playing the game and staring at my phone. Riveting stuff, people. Riveting stuff. So that's it. That's my video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Did I do my job appropriately and find you a good solution? Again, between $60, $70 here, a really great option if you need to capture video on the cheap. I've been very happy with this. Let me know if you've tried similar devices and how they've worked out. Otherwise, you can check out my Intensity Pro video. You can check out my video on the Magewell, which is the creme of the creme uh, for capture devices. But this one, I'm going to keep. You could not keep it for the price. Thank you all for watching and get out there and fill your brains. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, that